Hi everyone. Today I wanted to talk about a uh, new revelation that Marvel has made that they are approving comics for 10 issues at a time. This is my third attempt at making this video and every time I make this video I get heated. So I'm not going to share my screen because who needs CP girl going Woo! Woo all over the place, all over their screen because her spasms are kicking in. So, here are my thoughts. Uh, back when I started reading comics in 1987, an eon ago, comics that were 10 issues were considered a limited series, and they still should be. Because, let's be honest, 10 issues isn't that long of a run. Uh, you can go to the comic store and spend $5 an issue, minimum, well, maximum, they say. Let's be honest, some comics are seven bucks an issue now, which is ridiculous, but that's a topic for another issue. Um, let's, let's put it this way. You go to the comic store, you're going to spend 50 bucks, basically, on a 10 issue run, or you can wait a year and buy it from... Amazon in trade paperback, easier to read, format for half that, which for a book like, say, She-Hulk, Captain Marvel, is probably what's going to happen because, and I say this as a person who loves both of those characters a ton, um... Shields probably canceled with issue 10, which would have been issue 25 if they hadn't relaunched and retitled, which, let's be honest, far more impressive and what the original Shield run ended at, which isn't spectacular, but it's double what most She-Hulk runs have ended at in the last decade, almost. Um, the Charles Soule ended at 14, I believe. The dance lot was relaunched, tw well, once. And that ended at 36, I think, total, with Peter David running, writing like the last 10 or so. I'm, my memory's a little fuzzy, but still, the Captain Marvel thing is a, a lot more annoying because that would have had a 66 issue run. I did the math in some earlier takes where I included the Anne Nascenti miniseries, which, by the way, is great, and nobody read it because it was a miniseries. But I digress. DC doesn't tell you this, and that's good, because I have no idea if Birds of Prey is going to end tomorrow. Well, you know, Wednesday on a month in, you know, five months from now, or it's going to end in ten months gives me a lot more incentive to go to the store and buy it. I love Birds of Prey. I'll buy it anyway. But that's not the point. It doesn't help the store to tell people you're canceling books in 10 issues. All right. Done ranting. Bye, everybody.